Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shahig and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. It's going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic language learners. Before I begin, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel if you find my lessons useful. Also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram because I upload lessons there too almost on a daily basis. For example, today when I finish this lesson, I will go to Instagram and Facebook and I will upload the list of sentences and vocab we will talk about in our video today. So make sure you follow me there too. So we've already done a lesson with all the expressions that have the word heart and all the expressions that have the word head in Lebanese Arabic. And today we will do all the expressions that have the word hand or hands. Let's begin. Okay guys, let's begin. I was capable of remembering 28 expressions. I'm sure there is more, but these are the ones I was able to remember. Um, of course, before we begin, we have to know what is the meaning of the word hand in Arabic. Eid, it's Eid. In the singular form, we say Eid, as you can see here. And Eidin is the plural form, Eidin, sometimes pronounced as Eidain. So you can either say Eidin or Eidain, or if it's one hand, you say Eid. Okay, so Eid in the singular and Eidain in the plural. Let's begin with the very first expression of today, which says Eid wahde ma bitza'if Eid wahde ma bitza'if What does this mean? Let's break it down Eid, as I said, hand Wahde Wahde is one in Arabic, but it's the feminine form of number one Why? Because the word Eid is a feminine word By the way, I didn't mention here that even if the word Eid doesn't have a temor buta it's one of these feminine words, exceptional feminine words, because most of the times when a word is feminine in Arabic, we know that it has to have a te marbuta. But this is one of the words that does not have a te marbuta, but it's a feminine word. So Eid wahde, that's why we used a feminine number with it, feminine number one with it, because as I said, Eid is feminine, so we need to say wahde, and we can't say wahad. Eid wahad would be wrong. We have to say Eid wahde, because wahad is the masculine form of wahde. But if literally means she claps, we're using a feminine verb, but of course we don't mean she claps, we mean it claps, because in Arabic we don't have it, so we usually use he or she. In this case, I'm using she claps, bit za'if, again, because we have a feminine word. Bit za'if means it claps. Ma bit za'if means it doesn't clap. Eid wahde ma bit za'if, one hand alone, does not clap. What does this mean and when do we use it? It's an expression we use to say that people have to cooperate to, to get things done. And I think the best equivalent for this expression would be two heads are better than one in English. So yeah, um, it's always important to cooperate to get things done because one person alone maybe wouldn't be able to finish something. So Eid wahde ma the second expression for today is Eidu Taili or Eida Taili. Eidu Taili or Eida Taili. And again, you notice here, when I say Eidu, I'm not pronouncing this He. It's silent in Lebanese Arabic because there is a Dhamma here, Eidu Taili. I pronounce it this way. And in the feminine form, again, I don't pronounce this He. And instead of saying Eid Ha Taile, I say Eida Taile. That's why here you see me, I wrote Eido and Eida, and I didn't write Eid Ho to represent the word phonetically. So Eido Taile and Eida Taile. What does this mean? Eido is his hand, and Eida is the feminine form, is her hand. And when I say Eido Taile, it's like I'm saying their hand reaches, or their, their hand is a reaching hand which means uh, it's like you are saying this person has connections. So if you want to get something done and you know people, you can say uh, because you know those people and maybe you can, you can get things done because of your connections, basically. So to say someone has connections, you say if it's, if it's a guy and 
if it's a girl or a woman. Now, ido tawile or ida tawile. Again, we are using a feminine adjective, tawile. We didn't say tawil. Tawil is masculine. So here I'm using tawile again, as usual, because we have the word id, which is a feminine noun. So we're using a feminine adjective, tawile. His hand is tall, ido tawile, and ida tawile. Her hand is tall. This means that a person is a thief. You have a long hand, long or tall, tawil. So in Arabic, long and tall are the same. We use tawil for both or tawile in the feminine form. So when I say somebody's hand is long, we mean they, they steal things or the, the person is a thief. So ido tawile or ida tawile. The fourth expression for today is عصفور بالإيد ولا عشرة عالشجرة Let me say it slower عصفور بالإيد ولا عشرة عالشجرة Let's break this down عصفور is a bird بالإيد means in the hand إيد is hand بال means in the بال it's B plus the L which means in the bil eid in the hand wala means and not la means not wala means and not wa means and wala ashra means 10 ashajra you see here i wrote ashajra because i'm writing the phonetic representation of the word al shajra i wrote in arabic al shajra but we have to pronounce it ashajra. Why? Because the word shajra starts with the sheen, and the sheen is a sun letter. And all the words in Arabic that starts that start with a sheen, when we add l before it, we don't pronounce the l sound. We just pronounce ashajra. Okay. So ashajra means on the tree. So asfur bil-eid, a bird in hand. ولا عشرة and not ten عشجرة on the tree. So basically, you are saying a bird in hand is better than ten birds on a tree. When do you use this? You use it to to choose a situation that is more guaranteed instead of taking risks. For example, if I don't know if you have the chance of uh, making one thousand dollars now for sure now just now you are sure you can get it but then if you wait uh, you might risk it and you might get maybe who knows ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars but in the future but that's that's risky you might not get them then you can say you know what no i'll take the one thousand and not risk it and then you, in that case you say asfur bil eid wala ashra ashajra asfur bil eid wala ashra ashajra a bird in hand is better than 10 birds on a tree. But the way you're saying is it is asfur bil eid and not 10 on the tree. The next expression is ido kemshe or ida kemshe. Ido kemshe or ida kemshe. Kemshe is, you know, when you're doing this with your hand and usually when we say this expression, we close our hand and we do this to say that the person is stingy and they are not generous. So if I say about someone ida kemshe and I do this, I'm holding my hand like that, it's like the person is stingy and ido kemshe, it's, it's the masculine form. And by the way, you know what? There's no expression that we usually use to say the person is generous, the opposite. But usually when I say ido hek, like this, I'm saying ido hek, his hand is like that, and I'm showing my hand and I'm opening my hand like that. We say it to say the per that the person is generous, ido hek. When I say ido hek without showing my hands, it makes no sense. But when I say ido hek, his hand is like that, when I use it like that, I'm saying the person is generous or ida heg, she is generous. Okay, so let's repeat. Ido kemshe, he is stingy. Ida kemshe, she is stingy. Ido heg, you can say ido heg, he is generous. Let's move to the next expression. 
It's a sentence when I say شيل إيدك عني Literally شيل Remove إيدك Your hand عني I'm saying from me or off me So get your hands off me شيل إيدك عني Remove your hands عني From me or off me عن also in another context means about So you're not really saying remove your hand about me, of course not. You mean get your hands off me. شيل إيدك عني. And the feminine form is شيل إيدك عني. شيل إيدك عني. شيل إيدك عني. شيل is the imperative form of remove in the masculine. And شيل is the imperative form of remove in the feminine form. شيل إيدك your hands. Feminine عني. عن, as I said, of عن is of me. This a in the end makes it me. Or شيل إيدك عن get your hands off me. The next expression is similar to this one, but instead of saying get your hands off me, I'm saying don't put your hands on me. Okay? So ما تمد إيدك علي ما تمد إيدك علي. That's if I'm talking to a man. ما تمد إيدك علي That's if I'm talking to a woman Usually this happens when somebody is trying to hit you or beat you Okay, so ما تمد إيدك علي Okay, تمد is extend ما تمد, don't extend إيد is hand إيدك is your hand masculine على is on علي is on me ما تمد إيدك علي Don't extend your hand on me Which means don't, uh, don't put your hand on me Or usually this happens when somebody is beating the other person When there is a situation where there is a, a fight It could be in the street It could be a mom beating up her child um, It shouldn't happen But we say it when it happens ما تمد إيدك علي When we are saying it to a man and ما تمد إيدك علي when we are saying it to a woman so ما تمد don't extend ما تمد don't extend feminine إيد is hand إيدك is your hand feminine علي on me the next expression is <laughs> بكسر على إيدك or بكسر على إيدك when do we say this when we are angry with someone and we say to them we will break your hand and usually we say this when the person is trying to put their hand on us so بكسرها لإيدك بكسر is I break بكسرها literally I'm saying I break her so this a in the end means her again why because we're referring to the word Eid which is a feminine word that's why we need the a which is her بكسرها which means of course I break it بكسرها I break it لإيدك to your hand or for your hand which means I would I will break your hand if you put it on me بكسرها لإيدك literally I'm saying I break her for your hand بكسرها لإيدك if I'm talking to a guy if I'm talking to a girl I would say بكسرها لإيدك your hand feminine so in this situation you know that you're angry with the person or the person is trying to be aggressive to you and you are trying to stop them and you say if you put your hands on me I will break your hand بكسرها لإيدك or بكسرها لإيدك the next expression is مش بإيدي مش بإيدي literally not be means in إيد means hand and إيدي means my hand it's written ed but we always pronounce the e in the end as a in lebanese mish be ed literally not in my hand it's a way to say it's not in my hand it's not in my hands so the situation is out of control okay mish be ed um, for example when do i say this if uh, I always cry because I broke up with my boyfriend or something and my sister tells me enough, go, stop crying and move on with your life. And I say, مش بإيدي, like I can't, I really can't. Okay, the next expression is uh, بإيدك الشغلة. 
قول بإيدك الشغلة سو بإيدك الشغلة بإيدك الشغلة pronounce with a liaison as بإيدك الشغلة or بإيدك الشغلة you notice here in Arabic I wrote بإيدك كل شغلة again because the sheen is a sun letter so I don't pronounce the le. I have to say بإيدك كل شغلة no I have to say بإيدك الشغلة I don't pronounce the lam so when I say بإيدك الشغلة again in your hands the thing literally I'm saying be in Eid hand be duck your hand il the shagli thing the thing is in your hand which means you have control over the particular situation so for example if I told my sister mish be it's not in my hands she can reply and say la be shagli no it's in your hands be shagli which means you are in control and you decide things and you are the the, the decision maker or you decide your fate or any particular situation that you have control over so if I'm talking to a guy and if I'm talking to a girl I would say let's go to the next expression which is or or amene ben ideike. Amene is a way to is a word that means, you know, like um, guardianship or trustworthiness. And then ben ideik ben means literally between. Ideik means your hands in the masculine form, and ideike your hands in the feminine form. Ideik hands your hands ideike. The plural form of hands plus your in the feminine form. So your hands in the feminine form. So when I say amene ben idik, it's like this person is uh, is is uh, protected in in your hands or thing. So for example, if I say to someone, okay, I am traveling for two months and I'm leaving my baby be with my sister. Okay, and I say to her. Please take care of her. Hiye, she is. Hiye, amene ben ideike. She is um, guarded in your hands, or you are saying she is the she is the the secured in your hands. Okay, and it doesn't have to be just about the person. Maybe I'm giving something to someone, and I'm telling them to keep it safe. So that's also amene ben ideike or amene ben ideike. So it doesn't have to be just a person okay then next expression is pes bi amen ben idek or pes bi amen ben idek so pes bi amen pes is i feel pes bi means with and amen here means safety you're saying i feel with safety that's why it means i feel safe Pes bi amen, I feel safe. Ben idek, you're saying between your hands. And when you're talking to a girl, you say between your hands, ben idek. I feel safe between your hands. You mean I feel safe in your arms. Pes bi amen, ben idek. Oh, pes bi amen, ben idek. I feel safe between your hands, which means I feel safe in your arms the next expression is bitla biidak or bitla biidik and if i'm talking about someone else i'm saying bitla biido it would mean that i'm talking about a guy bitla biido and if i'm talking about a girl another person i say bitla biida what does this mean literally i'm saying bitla it comes out be in ida id is hand idak is your hand masculine when i say to someone bitla bi idak it's a way to say you are capable the person is capable the person has all the ability to do that it's a bit more than just saying oh this person is able to do that no it's like you are putting trust 
in the person and you're saying and sometimes when you say it to someone directly it's like you are also motivating them by saying uh, you are capable of doing that if I'm talking to a guy if I'm talking to a girl I would say and if I'm talking about someone else I can say he is really capable and she is capable literally comes out in their hand which means comes out of them basically that's why they are capable of doing something the next expression is ido will kef or ida will kef ido will kef it's it's a bit funny to say this but it's not very funny when somebody does it of course and they're adults but i remember this because yesterday i was on the phone with my sister and she said my little niece who's one year and a half and uh, my other niece, who's three years and a half, they were, you know, we're having a little argument. I'm, and my little niece, who's one year and a half, she slapped her. And my sister was saying, why is she doing that? This is, this is not the first time. She's becoming like that. It's like she's becoming short-tempered. And when somebody's short-tempered and they immediately hit someone else, they say, in that case, they just say, Ido will kef. Ido means hand ido her, his hand will means and the w plus l which means will and the kaf means a slap his hand and the slap it's a way to say a person slaps so fast he slapped so fast and if it's feminine it's ida will kaf she slapped or she slaps so fast ida will kaf so my sister said in that case uh, Kira Saira Ida will kef. Kira is her, the name of my niece, my little one year and a half old niece. Kira has become Ida will kef, her hand and the slap, which means she's slapping so fast recently. Ida will kef or Ido will kef. Um, sometimes, okay, these expressions in Lebanese. Sometimes when you say to someone, Ida will kef, your hand and the slap. It's a way to say, just slap them so fast, like just do it. Idak will kaf, just slap them because the person deserves it. I know we have a lot of these expressions, they are maybe not nice, but we have them. Okay, so Ido will kaf or Ida will kaf. Okay, the next expression is Hat idek be my birdi. Hat idek be my birdi, that's masculine. And Hat idek be my birdi, that's feminine. Hat Let's break it down. Hat is the imperative form of the verb to put or to place. So when I say hat, is a, is, it's like I'm saying put it, put your hands. Hat idek, your hands masculine. Put your hands. Be in, my means water. Berde means cold. My berde, I use the feminine adjective berde because the word my is also a feminine word even if it doesn't have a te marbuta my birdi cold water put your hands in cold water and if i'm talking to a girl i would say hatte hatte idaike your hands feminine so idek is your hands masculine idaike your hands feminine hatte put feminine imperative form hatte idaike be my birdi what does this mean when i say to someone put your hands in cold water it means relax and don't worry it's it's like i'm guaranteeing to someone that something will be sorted you know what for example you can go i will take care of the situation and you don't have to worry and you don't have to think about it so hat idak or hat idek be my birde hat idek be my birde or hatte idake be my birde Everything will be okay. You don't even have to think about it. You don't even have to worry about it. It's like a promise, actually. Okay, the next expression is Hat idak bi'ide. That's if I'm talking to a man. Hat idak bi'ide. And if I'm talking to a woman, I would say Hat te idik bi'ide. Hat is put in the imperative form, as we said. Idak is one hand, your hand. Idak, masculine. B means in, 
D means my hand. The A in the end makes it my. Put your hand in my hand. Put your hand in mine. Hat idak biide. And in the feminine form is hatte if I'm talking to a girl. Hatte idik your hand biide in my hand. This is a way to say let's cooperate, let's do this together, or let's be together in another context. Okay, so hat idak biide. Put your hand in my hand. Let's cooperate. Let's do this together. We can do this together, basically. The next expression is Or if you're talking to a girl, you would say Now let me say it slower. I abbreviated يلي into li. You could have also said يلي. And if you're saying it to a girl, it's ما تعد الإيد اللي بتعميك. What does this mean? Let's break it down. تعد is you bite. تعد ما تعد is don't bite. ما تعد don't bite in the masculine form. ما تعد الإيد the hand. Don't bite the hand. اللي which it means which اللي or يلي. So the abbreviated form is li. Or you can say yalli. Bittamik. Bittamik means it feeds you. Okay? And actually, I'm literally saying she feeds you. I'm using the feminine form because as we said, the word is eid is feminine. So we need a feminine verb. Bittamik. Ma ta'addil eid li bittamik. Don't bite the hand which or that. Feeds you. Bittamik. Bittame. Bittame means it feeds. Bittamik plus ik in the end, it becomes it feeds you, masculine. You don't say bittameik, no. You drop the a and you say bittamik means it feeds you. So don't bite the hand that feeds you. And in the feminine form, we say matadde. ما تعدي تعدي is you bite in the feminine form ما تعدي don't bite الإيد اللي بتعميك you see when you add the A in the end it means it feeds you in the feminine form ما تعدي الإيد اللي بتعميك don't bite the hand that feeds you basically don't bring any harm to the people who help you maybe you work for a company and you know, you get your salary from them and suddenly you steal them or something. So that's like biting the hand that feeds you. Or Yalla, let's go to the next expression. The next expression is I just used just to put it in a sentence. But actually, the expression is Idayye, my hands. You notice the word hands is idain or idain. But when I want to say my hands, I'm not saying idayne, no. I'm dropping the n, the noon. So I'm saying idayye, my hands. Idayye, my hands. Fadin. Fadin is the plural form of empty. It's a plural adjective. Fadin. And the singular masculine form is fade. Something is empty. It's an adjective. Fade, masculine. And in the feminine form, it would, it would be fadye. Fade, masculine. Fadye, feminine. In this case, I'm saying hands, my hands. So that's why I'm using a plural adjective. In spoken Arabic, we do use plural adjectives. In English, you would say empty hands. In Arabic, it's like you are saying empties hands. And you notice I'm putting the adjective after the noun. Always we place the adjective after the noun. My hands are empty. So when I say عيب is a very, very, very commonly used word. Just memorize it. عيب. It's a way to say it's shameful. We don't do this. It's shameful. عيبروح. It's shameful. And bruh means I go. When you say I bruh, it's shameful that I go. 
we shouldn't go it's basically I bruh I shouldn't go or it's shameful that I go empty-handed but you are saying my hands are empty it's shameful if I go with empty hands so basically when you go to people's houses in Lebanon to people's homes and you're invited or even when you're not invited it's always a must basically to take something with you either uh, a cake or uh, or a drink or, or or flowers anything because it's in our culture that when you go to somebody's house you have to take something with you and if you don't it's kind of shameful they say so that's why this person is saying I it's shameful if I go empty-handed and if we're more than one person going to somebody's house you can say I so ruh is I go نروح with the n, n sound in the end نروح is we go I بنروح it's shameful that we go إدينا our hands so إدي is my hands إدينا is our hands فدين empty hand so when I say إدينا فدين is empty handed we shouldn't go empty handed basically I بنروح إدينا فدين the next expression is يسلموا إيديك or يسلموا إيديك Yislamu ideik or Yislamu ideik. Yislamu, it's like you are saying, may they be in peace or may they have health. And ideik is your hands. And ideik, your hands, feminine. When do we use the, this expression? And actually, we use it a lot. Yislamu ideik or Yislamu ideik. It's a way to say thank you. And when do we say thank you? When the person is doing something, a favor to us, usually using their hands. So, for example, if my mom cooks for us, I say to her, Yislamu idayke, may your hands be blessed or, or healthy. Okay? And Yislamu idayke, when somebody helped me carry bags, maybe to my door, so I can say, Yislamu idayke, may your hands be, be safe, be, be healthy. It's a way to say, Thank you, but it's a very warm way to say thank you. Yislamu idayk, if you're talking to a man. And yislamu idayke, if you're talking to a woman. The next expression is matwasikh idayk. Matwasikh idayk or matwasikh idayke. What does this mean? Let's break it down. Twasikh literally means you make dirty. It can mean really, if your hands are dirty, you say إِدَيِّ وسخين. You use the adjective وسخين to say something is literally dirty. So توسخ is the verb, verb to dirty. We have the verb in Arabic, توسخ. ما توسخ, it's like you are saying to someone, don't dirty, which means don't make dirty. Don't dirty in the masculine form, as I said, it's a verb in Arabic, ما توسخ, إيديك, your hands. Don't make your hands dirty. Don't dirty your hands. That's masculine. Ma if I'm talking to a woman. Ma idayke. That's the feminine form. Don't make your hands dirty. But in, in this case, when I say ma idayke, it can be the literal form and the not literal form. For example, if a mom is talking to her kids, she say she would say matwasikh idayk, don't make your hands dirty, don't get your hands dirty, or matwasikh idayk. But when we mean the metaphorical, when we are saying this in the metaphorical sense, we mean, uh, you know, just don't do anything bad. It's not worth it, and let it go. So, for example, I don't know if if. Uh, if somebody, uh, God forbid, murdered someone, okay, and maybe the other person is very angry and they want to get revenge and they want to kill them or something, and I can say to that person, no, don't do it. Don't, don't make your hands dirty, which means don't be involved in something bad. Let it go or... In other contexts, when the situation is smaller, it's a way to say it's not worth worth it. Okay, so matwasikh idayk or matwasikh idayk. Um, this one, this expression is bi idin amin. It's similar to the expression we said earlier, which is amin bain idayk. 
this person is safe in your hands and also when I say bi'idin amine bi'idin in hands amine means safe so when I say to someone don't worry your daughter is in safe hands I say matkhaf don't be scared or don't worry bintak your daughter bi'idin amine is in safe hands matkhaf don't worry bintak bi'idin amine your daughter let me write it bintak your daughter be eden amin your daughter is in safe hands the next expression is idayye murabbatin idayye murabbatin idayye is my hands as we said murabbat is tied murabbatin is tied in the plural form idayye murabbatin my hands are tied but here again <coughs> the expression as an expression is not used to literally say the person has tied hands but it's a way to say I am not capable of doing something I am stuck somewhere and I am not capable of taking action or doing something even if I really want to do it I really want to do something but I am not capable of doing it so that's so maybe I want to help a person, I want to help my family and I'm very poor and I don't have the money to bring them food. I say, I am really incapable of, of doing something or helping them. The next expression is Min Eid La Eid. Min Eid La Eid. Min means from, Eid means a hand, La means to, Eid means a hand. From hand to hand, which means from one hand to another. When do we say this? When something is literally, you're seeing something or someone going from one hand to another. Uh, the best scenario to describe this is, for example, if there is a baby, she's so cute or he's so cute and everyone is carrying him or her and by the way it happens a lot in our culture we don't have this idea of oh staying uh, keeping uh, a distance from babies we we are very relaxed and comfortable about carrying uh, our friends babies uh, or even babies sometimes you don't know you just say oh it's so cute and you go like that and you carry the baby it's okay in our culture it's not something awkward or weird so when a baby is let's say cute and everybody is carrying him or her in the family or the friends we say min eid la eid the baby is going from one hand to another min eid la eid okay so that's literally from hand to hand min eid la eid it can not it can be also not just a person but, but something that is really going from one hand to another min eid la eid now the next expression is shughal eid shughal Eid, literally, shughal means work and Eid means hand, but it doesn't mean work, hand, of course not, it means handmade, shughal Eid, as simple as that, handmade, shughal Eid. Now, we have the same expression, but when we say it to someone, so for example, shughal Eidak, literally you are saying shughal, work. Eid is hand, Eidak is your hand, the work of your hand, Shughal Eidak. When do I say this? For example, if I'm eating a cake that is very tasty and I'm not sure who made it, if it's uh, ready-made or someone cooked it, I say to my mom, for example, mm, كتير طيب هالقطو. this cake is very tasty, كتير طيب هالقطو. Shughal Eidik? Shughal Eidik, in this case I said Eidik because your hand feminine. You made it, it's a way to ask someone if you made it. Shughal Eidik, okay? And if she wants to say, uh, oh, you know what? Have this cake, it's really tasty. I made it, she says, Shughal Eide, the work of my hand, okay? So Shughal Eidak, the work of your hand. Shughal Eidik, the work of your hand feminine. And Shughal Eide, the work of my hand. It's a way to say, you made it, I made it, she made it, okay? Again, so when you want to say to someone, have this cake, I made it. This cake is very tasty. So when I'm doing this, I'm saying just eat it. It's, it's made by me. And if I say, that's a question. Is it the work of your hand? Which means, did you make it? And 
Finally, I put two expressions that are not so commonly used in Lebanese Arabic, but more maybe in standard Arabic or in other Arabic countries. So this one is العين بصيرة والإيد أصيرة. العين بصيرة والإيد أصيرة. The actual expression in Arabic is واليد because in standard Arabic we don't say إيد we say يد يد واليد. العين بصيرة واليد قصيرة. That's how you pronounce it in standard Arabic. Let me repeat. العين بصيرة واليد قصيرة. But in the spoken language, we would say العين بصيرة واليد قصيرة. What does this mean? العين means the eye. بصيرة means can see. It's not a verb. It's an adjective here because عين is a feminine word. We use a feminine adjective. بصيرة capable of seeing. العين بصيرة والإيد. Will means and the. إيد means hand as we know. أصيرة means short. أصيرة is the feminine of short. أصير is the masculine form of short. أصير masculine. أصيرة feminine. Or in an, in, uh, we can also say asire, but when it comes to this expression, we pronounce it asira. Okay, what does this mean? The eye can see, but the hand is short. It's a way to say you really want something and you actually see it, but you can't get it. So, for example, if I'm in love with someone and I always see him and he's in front of my eyes, I see him, but I can't. But I can't have him. I can say العين بصيرة والإيد قصيرة or in standard Arabic العين بصيرة واليد قصيرة And finally we have another expression that is more standard Arabic but sometimes you could use it in, in the spoken dialect. It's مد لي يد العون مد لي يد العون or if you want to pronounce it in more the spoken way, you would probably pronounce it maddalli, maddalli, yad al Not so commonly used actually in spoken, but you could. Maddalli, yad al So, madd or madda, in standard Arabic you say madda. In Lebanese Arabic you would say madd. Madd means he extended. Maddali or maddali extended for me or to me. Yad is the standard Arabic form of Eid, as we said. And Aoun means help or assistance. So when we say maddali yad al Aoun, he extended to me the hand of help or assistance, which means he, he gave me a hand or he help me in a very difficult time we we have the we have the impression that the person kind of saved the other maddali yad al or if you want to transform it into lebanese you would say maddali yad al okay we are done with the expressions today but i thought before we go i would like to show you the list of uh, the word hand with the possessive endings in the singular and in the plural. So let's start with the word Eid, the singular form. So hand. Eid is hand, as we said. So in Arabic, we will say my hand, Eid. You notice we will write Eid, but we will pronounce it Eid. Eid, my hand. Eidak, your hand, masculine. Eidik, your hand, feminine. Eido, his hand. This Ha is silent, as we said. Ido, his hand. And Ida, her hand. Again, we don't say Idha in Lebanese. We would say Ida, her hand. Idna, our hand. Although it doesn't make sense if you, you wouldn't have just one hand if it's plural, but it's okay. Let's say it. Idna, our hand. Idkun, your hand, plural. Your plural. This kun makes it plural. Your. And idun, we don't pronounce it idun, we pronounce it idun. Idun means their hand. So this is the singular conjugation of hand with the possessive ending. Now, let's go to the plural one. 
Ideen or Ideen? Ideen or Ideen? So, it's important to know that here, when depending on the possessive ending that we will add, we will sometimes use Ideen. You see here I put a Kasra, although we don't need it because there is a Ye after it, Ideen. Or Ideen, depending on the possessive ending. But also it's important to know that we will drop this noon when we are adding the possessive ending. So we will not say, for example, ideine when we add the e, we will say ideye. Okay? So let's conjugate it. Ideye is my hands. Ideye. So you see, I didn't say ideine. I said ideye. Your hands would be ideik or ideik. You could use both in this case. Ideik or ideik. Your hands feminine, I will say ideike. I don't say ideike usually. In Lebanese, we don't say ideike. We say ideike. Ideike. Your hands. In the masculine form, I say ide. His hands. Ide. So you see, in this case, I'm not saying ideo. No, I'm just dropping the dhamma here. And I'm saying ide. Ide. Pronounced as ide. Even if this H is here, I'm not pronouncing it. So, his hands, ide. Her hands, ideya. And this H too, which is her hands, I'm not pronouncing the H, I'm only pronouncing the alif, ideya, her hands. Ideina, our hands. Ideikun, your hands in the plural, the kun makes it plural your. And ideyun, we are not pronouncing ideyun. We are just pronouncing ideyon, their hands. Let me repeat this without the explanation, just with the translation. Ideye, my hands. Ideik or ideik, your hands. Ideike, your hands, feminine. Ide, his hands. Idea, her hands. Ideina, our hands. Ideikun, your hands in the plural and ideon their hands ide my hand idak your hand idik your hand feminine ido his hand ida her hand idna our hand idkun your hand plural idon is their hand this one has a spelling mis mistake it should be Edna. Okay, that's it for today. So try to use this table to change the expressions above based on what you want to say. So for example, if I was saying, if we go for example, Ida Tile, if I want to say your hand is extended, I can say Idak if I know how to conjugate with the possessive endings. So make sure you know the possessive endings so you, you would have the freedom of playing around with these expressions. Okay, that's it for today. I will turn my camera to say bye to you. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.